What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into the um, safari. I just want peace, not legal fees. <laughs> let's get it. So, why today, he got the mic on the inside? That don't make sense. I'm gonna run down for you how my day went um, because. Don't get me wrong, it sound good, but. I woke up and it was almost. You know, like when it's your birthday and you get a hundred texts, a hundred calls, and it's like that. Oh. That's how my phone was today, and um, you know, it's just it's just so crazy to me how people just love pasa pasa. They love the gossip, you know what I'm saying? And um, people who don't know me, they'll be like, oh, Safari, you messy. But anyone who really does know me, they know like, I don't like, I don't like that kind of attention. Um, <clears throat> me expressing myself is, is, there's no clout involved. I, I'm not getting clout. Um, I'm not trying to set up a clickbait, you know? What? There's a situation at hand, and I spoke about it. And really and truly, I, I don't like speaking about it. There are a lot of people, and there's a lot of times I've been in a situation and things happen, and people say, yo, why don't you ever say anything? Because I'm not that kind of a person. I don't thrive off of drama. Um, Contrary to belief, I am, I feel like I'm happy, you know? I go through what I go through, you know, but I live in America and as a black man, we gotta just take it on the chin. Rough out here in these streets. Because there are, you know, I'm not saying everybody doesn't care, but there are some people who do care. And, you know, I know who's genuine. I know when it's coming from a genuine place. And, mm. you know, me doing that video, that wasn't to bash anybody because I'm, I'm just not like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. It's just, hey, look, it's A, B, it's black and white, and that's that. Um, like, I'm a, I'm a real man. I don't... <clears throat> I don't want to like, I don't want to put my <clears throat> business on Front Street. What you've seen on Love & Hip Hop for the past few years is, it's very, it's enhanced, you know? It's in the hands? And it's entertainment, it's a show. And I'm talking about from 10 years ago to five years ago. It, it may look like, hey, this is what you're seeing, but at the end of the day, I'm on a camera and it's a job. But this right here, you know, like I said before, I'm not filming. This is real life. And <clears throat> I don't want to go tit for tat. I don't want to try to embarrass anybody. I want to just be at a place where when it's time for me to see my kids or us come up with some sort of... You done posted that woman pulling up to your house with her ladder and climbing over your fence. You think she wanted everybody to see that? That would be embarrassing. So if I were her, I would be embarrassed. That's not something you'll be able to come back from after you did. <laughs> of a schedule that this schedule is set in place. Oh my God. Um, nobody wants to create life and bring it into this world. And it's bad enough this world already is screwed up enough as it is. Nobody wants to create life, bring it into this messed up world and then just have more things going on that shouldn't be going on that could be avoided, you know? Um, my people keep asking me, am I, am I going to have kids? No. 
we already got them. You know, we already got kids and, you know, got to protect them while we're here. And, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Because that's all I think about. But, like, to bring more kids here and you know life is so fucked up, I can't do it. I can't do it. And the fact that I have the choice, because I'm just not out here having, you know, intercourse with the males, um, the fact that I have a choice really got me like, yeah, I'm straight. You know, what I'm saying? I, if you're obviously just having sex and you get pregnant, that's a total different story. No disrespect to y'all. I'm just saying I have more time to think. I have more of a choice to make versus getting caught up in, you know, what I'm saying um, doing it, you know. So that's what I mean. If you plan it, I'm not talking to you. Get my drift without getting in your feelings. I want to be able to do everything that I don't remember my father doing for me when it comes to being a parent. It's a lot. And not even man or woman, this is about being in a position where you have a lot of eyes on you. And when you have to live your life in front of, you know, millions of people and some people think they know you and they want to think that they could assess your situation more than you. It does suck. A lot of people who are Stop. around me daily, they're like, Bruh. yo, you are Stop so... Stop putting us in your business then. I don't get that. If niggas feel away, stop putting us in your business. It don't make sense, y'all. So strong. I don't know how you deal with it. Some people think they know you and they want to think that they could assess your situation more than you. I ain't going to lie. Nobody would be able to assess y'all situation if you didn't put us in the chat. <laughs> like, literally. No, I don't, I don't know if anybody wake up and be like, all right, let me go. That's a lie because, you know, it's a lot of bloggers out here creating mess. But, I mean, if you don't put your business out there, we won't know. Genuinely. So, we can't go looking for something that ain't there. Some people do, I'm saying. But if, you, if we can't go, you can't find something that ain't there. How about that? If y'all don't want to send our chat, stop... In your chat, stop putting us in your chat. Now, I think that's simple math. You know what I'm saying? It does suck. A lot of people who are around me daily, they're like, yo, you are so strong. I don't know how you deal with it. And today is one of those days where I haven't been on my phone. And just to protect my mental health. Um, Makes sense to me. It. It's, it's best for me to be that way. There's times where I've took six months off of social media and had somebody else running my page just because I don't... I don't need to see everything going on. I don't want to know everything going on. If it's not my business, why do I need to know? And especially, like, being black and in the black culture, um, I just feel like uh, a lot of us are just so caught up in gossip and drama and... Me personally, I don't live my life like that. I don't like, I don't like drama. I don't like seeing fighting. I don't want to be involved in it. You know, I want to just live my life in peace, be a father in peace, and be able to co-parent in peace. I get it. Life is short. Yes, it is. Every single day. We wake up, there is somebody who did not wake up. All right. I want you to really listen to what I said. Every day that we wake up is a day that somebody else did not wake up. And it's, it's like we, we're taking life, we're taking things for granted. And I say that just to say that me... I want to be a good person. I want to be a good father. And I just want to be happy in my own space. Like, there's no, nothing else matters more than being happy, staying prayed up, being around people who care, and just being comfortable. I get it. You know, things so I don't need to be excessive. I don't need 
to be making $100 million a year. Once my bills are paid and anything and everything that needs to be covered that has to do with my family and things that I care about are taken care of, nothing else matters. Oh, God. I've definitely gotten to that point. As long as these bills pay and I can, you know, buy the little things that I want, I need, and my family need. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. <laughs> and about none of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. I just want to say, you know, I appreciate everybody At who all. reached out to me. And I just, I want me and my kid's mother, like, I, I really mean this from the bottom of my heart. I want me and my children's mother to, like, we don't have to be, we, like, it's, it, it doesn't have to be anything. I just want us to be able to set up A, B, C, and done. And that's it. You know what? Uh, you know it's gonna be a little more difficult with her. All right. A lot of things that you know I spoke about. People want to make their own assumptions, and there's some people who understand, some people who don't understand, some people who agree, some people who don't disagree. And I'm not here to explain myself to people over and over and over. I used to do that. And it's very draining, it's very stressful. My mother, she's still alive and I'm grateful for that. I speak to people who, who like say, hey, be grateful that you can call your mom. I remember talking to one of my friends whose mom isn't here. And Thanks. Now you gotta do the thumbnails. To the new videos I just put out. Oh, no, that's not these. That's not all these. I'm doing a video. You want me? You call me for... And... <laughs> it's... Just, just the thought of not being able to have certain people that you care about in your life, it is, that's my biggest fear. I don't care about nothing else. Like, a lot of people say life is short, but I don't think they're really, like, grasping what that means. And at the end of the day, I say that just to say this. I've led people, and when I say people, I'm not talking about my children's mother, I'm talking about people who don't know me. Because I get DMs from people who don't know me, who say, hey, Safari, you're this, you're that. And there's people who don't, I'm like, they don't know me. There are people who really do know me that say, hey, I have so much people who call me and they say this and they're just so confused. Just I think the people around celebrities is the ones that stress them out the most. And I don't think they telling them that. Like, if I'm going through something and I'm getting exposed all over the internet and you calling my phone talking about you getting exposed all over the internet, I know. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Uh, I've even had people that I'll call and say that. Now I won't because um, it can affect you. Stop calling me. I see it. I'll handle it. I got it. You know what I'm saying? And people kind of make it, I ain't going to say worse than what it already is because sometimes it's just that bad. <laughs> but, like, it don't have to be if you're not constantly on my phone about it. You know what I'm saying? So. Because. He looks. I'm really at peace with myself. In distress. When you're at peace with yourself, you do not have to fight every battle. Fighting every battle is very draining. Sometimes you just have to let shit take its pace. I'm right now, I'm in a court battle. I don't wanna be in a court battle. I don't wanna pay for lawyers. Paying for lawyers, paying them thousands of dollars when I 
could be using that money towards something for my kids, for something that matters. That's what I rather. I don't want to pay for lawyers. Like, it's, it's so unfair. It is so unjust because at the end of the day, somebody, he called me and he said to me, he said, Safari, let me tell you something about all of this legal and all of this lawyer jargon. Nobody wins but the lawyers. I had a lawyer when I was in Atlanta. She was horrible. All she wanted was to take pictures and, and, and show that I was there. It's like she was more caught up in the social media aspect and leaking information that things were being filed as opposed to, hey, let's handle what needs to be handled. There were certain things that I asked for and wanted that didn't get handled. And it's like, this lawyer, she got her money. And they lived their life while I have to still live my life. So I don't want to deal with no lawyers. It's really, really unfair. And I don't, I don't want when my kids get older that they look back and they see all of this and be upset at me. I don't want them to be upset at their mother. Y'all not doing a good job. I friend. just want peace. It's bad enough I gotta deal with all of this shit in the public eye. <clears throat> I want peace. I want mental clarity. I want everyone's mental health to be good. And I just want to be a father and a good person, I want to be able to get to a point that when my kids have something to do, I can talk to their mother and we know, hey, this is coming up for the kids and there's no issues. This is so, it's just so heavy. And I see a lot of people, they say, why are you talking to the internet? Go to the courts. Some people are just so ignorant. The court system doesn't work in one day. It the don't. court system doesn't work in one week when you're transferring a court case from Georgia to Florida. I don't even want to have to transfer a court case. I want to be able to have peace with my children's mother and say, hey, this is this. This is that. I have this, you have that, and that's it. What, what the internet is simply saying is, you think you can't transfer to them in a day. You can't transfer nothing through us. <laughs> we can't do shit. One, 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 and a jet. We can't do nothing, right? I don't nothing, need no right? on the backs from nobody. I don't need no sympathy from nobody. I don't need, like, I just want... I just want peace. That's all it is. Right now in my life where I'm at, if there's one thing I could get and I could snap my finger, I'd want it to be peace. We all want peace. I feel like we have to be the start of that, like, Choosing your baby mama. I just feel like he knew she was, you know what I'm saying, a little crazy before she got a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's really how I feel. In but um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah.